Hi, my name's Ashley. Welcome back to Life Beyond Locks. I'm going to start off by apologizing right away. Uh, I live in the country, I guess you could say, but it's a subdivision in the country and I do have neighbors. And because we kind of live in the country, sometimes uh, all of our neighbors have like toys, like ATVs or, uh, you know, really robust wood shops in their garages, that type of thing. And beside me, <laughs> My neighbor's garage uh, is on the same side of the house that I film on a majority of the time, and um, he's out there doing some work. So you may hear a little bit of background noise from time to time. And, you know, I thought about hitting pause on filming, but the reality is I'm a high school teacher. And as you know, probably already, and that means that my filming time is limited to evenings and weekends. The evenings are getting dark in a hurry now that we're entering fall. And I also have children of my own. So they are currently out of the house with their dad. And so I took this opportunity to film. It means that I have a small tight window in which I can film content uninterrupted. Um, but sometimes I just have to plug ahead and film even when the conditions maybe aren't ideal, like in this case uh, right now. So I'm apologizing in advance if you hear any noise that sounds kind of like grinding or drilling. Uh, it's coming from next door and it's bouncing off the house and echoing in here. Okay, today we're gonna look at a Raquel Welch piece. This was gifted by the Wig Company. Thank you to them for sending this over for me to have a look. It is a very different style than anything I've ever tried from Raquel Welch. Um, it's dress rehearsal, it's petite average size, and I have it in the color shaded iced cappuccino, which is a color that I have tried twice before. I absolutely love it, but I have never tried a style like this from Raquel Welch. The closest thing I think I've tried is Style Society and Well Played, but they have a lot more density. They're not dense, but they have even more density than this piece. And this is a little bit longer. Um, so this is a piece that I really wanted to see uh, in order to have a sense of that uh, glammed up, date night kind of feel, but then also a piece that could be an everyday style, could be used for updos, could be used if you're going to an event. Like I really wanted to see a piece that could kind of be all of the things. Um, and so I thought that dress rehearsal would be a good pick because it is heat friendly synthetic. It is a luxurious cap construction, which is going to be comfortable for hours of wear, but it also has a pretty sleek style, which I felt would make it ideal um, for maintaining those human hair, no, sorry, those synthetic fibers. So we do know that with synthetic fibers, you know, it's important to apply heat to them to keep them looking their best. And uh, it's certainly easier if you are a beginner and not accustomed to styling synthetic hair if you do so with a sleeker, straighter style. So with something like this, you can use one of those hot air brushes, the round brushes, to just kind of work at the ends as they may frizz up over time or get a little bit of crunchiness to them. You know, you can pretty easily, I think, um, help them out. So that was why I was kind of interested in this style. And quite honestly, I haven't put it on yet. I haven't um, done anything other than take it out of the box and looking look at it. I really wanted it to be like an authentic unboxing with you. It still has the zigzag part. So we're going to go ahead and look at all the elements of the cap together and then I will put it on and remove that zigzag part. So Shaded Ice Cappuccino is a beautiful blend of blondes and browns. You can see that the root there kind of matches with my own root nicely, which is why I like the shaded colors from Raquel Welch. But then the color throughout is super dimensional. We have cooler tones, I would say, of blondes and light to medium browns. The cap has so many amazing features. That was one thing I took a look at. So in terms of the cap, we have a completely um, hand tied cap, which is so nice and so luxurious. It's going to feel very comfortable in the head and you'll be able to wear it for hours. It's also going to bring the overall density down a little bit. So you're going to get that natural um, feeling on your head, which makes it beginner friendly in a lot of ways because 
Well, someone actually just asked me this today. I got a message from someone who asked, what density of wigs do I prefer? Uh, and this is someone who's doing market research for a wig brand, for a human hair wig brand. And my response was, well, I might go for something that's more of a medium density. It depends who your market is. If you're marketing to new wig wearers, you're definitely gonna wanna go for the lower density because it does seem that a majority of you, when I put pieces out there, um, tell me that you're looking for something low density. So hand tied is going to be a little bit more expensive because each of these knots in here is hand sewn by somebody, but it's also going to create a lower density, more comfort, more of that realistic feeling until you get used to wearing alternative hair, used to wearing wigs regularly. It has a temple to temple lace front. So it's not all the way down, but it's going to give you a lot of realistic looking hairline. It has silicone ear tabs and silicone nape that's extended. And I didn't know this until just today because I have one other Raquel Welch piece that I featured recently. It is the um, dress rehearsal one. And it also had silicone, which I thought was great. But what I didn't realize is that it's removable. So if you take a look, you can just remove the stitching super easily and take it off if you don't like it. I personally think it's a great addition to the piece though. Um, so we've got this generous hand tied cap all over, which also means if the wind blows, you know, you're not going to see the wefts, which is so good if you live in a windy area. And we have a left monofilament part here. So that's what you're seeing there. So that means you can part it anywhere in this area. Uh, I think I told you already, it's listed as petite average in terms of the cap size. I'm 21.25 inch circumference, uh, 11 ear to ear, 12 front to back. So we'll see how this looks on me and then you'll be able to gauge how it will look or fit, I should say, on you. Remembering that a wig grip will make your wig feel, if it's loose, it will instantly help it to feel more secure, even if it's running a little bit big on you. Okay, let's try this on. I'm so excited. I need to cut the tag off because this is just going to drive me bananas. I actually think I have it exactly where I want it. I don't even need to. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this? Okay, this to me looks like such a beautiful and realistic style density it feels so good and it fits so nicely on the head there's no added bulk or added weight here at all Raquel Welch hand tied is really nice let me tell you okay I'm gonna feel for where that area is that parting area and we're looking right about here so I'm going to go in and break up that part a little bit It's hard to feel where the, if you're wondering why is, I, why is she taking so long to find where to part it? It's because the so much of the cap is hand tied, right? That I can't entirely feel just where the monofilament area is because it's all feeling nice and light. There it is. Can you see that parting in there? It's nicely shaded, not a harsh shading though. So you're not gonna have to worry that it's gonna look really unrealistic for you. I really don't think it will. That front hairline there is really, really well done. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have that temple to temple lace, which means I can just pull out some of my bio hair here. Look at the great match for my bio hair. So if you're a medium brown, you're gonna love this shade. And then you can even just add a little bit of eyeshadow right there to conceal anywhere that it isn't a super easy blend for you. Okay, now I'm getting a bit of a face flopping situation right here. Can I move it over more? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I had the part past the monofilament area. It's actually a little bit closer to the center than I realized, or at least the way that I'm wearing the weight currently. So I'm gonna actually move it over a bit. 
That's why I'm getting face swapping. Oh, that's better. I can go all the way in here. I know that this ends up dragging on a little bit when I do my videos like this, like completely out of the box showing you how it turns out. But I think that when I was new to wigs, I really wanted to see how they got the reviewers, how they got the wigs to looking the way they got them because otherwise you get your piece out of the box and you just can feel sometimes a little hopeless. Like it doesn't look as good as you is. It looked on the reviewer, but it's because the reviewer spent time and energy trying to make the piece work for them. And if you don't see that process, then you don't know that it's happening behind the scenes. Wow. This feels really luxurious on me. I feel like when I look in the camera here, I feel like I look like I'm wearing one of my human hair pieces. Like it just, the style, the, the color, it just is so pretty. And I can see so many possibilities already with it in terms of styling because you do have this front piece. I'll give you the measurements, the lengths, just so you know. I'm five foot three, so things can be a little uh, different on me if you're taller or shorter. So it's 4.6 ounces. It's a 13 inch nape crown and back and a seven inch front. So because you have this nice piece that frames the face in the front, you can in fact do a ponytail or an updo, something with a claw clip, but a low pony and wear it for business, for work, for a night out. And there's enough here to play with, but not so much that it looks overwhelming or wiggy. So these are really nice additions to have because of that. They're long enough that you can ear tuck them if you are an ear tucker, which I read, like I'm an ear tucker for sure. It's just a habit of mine. Um, but you can also leave them out to the side if you want. You can blow them back or use a heat comb to have them sit back a little bit more off the face. Definitely loads of options here with this one. I wonder if you could do a half up nicely. Let's see how that would work out. Yeah, look at that. So pretty. And because we have that hand tied back, if I pull it up, you're not going to see all the wefting. This is a really, really gorgeous piece. So normally I would do a little bit more to a piece um, out of the box. I would end up sometimes playing it. My hot comb, I brought it with me, spraying the part with water, just doing more to it. But this piece, I feel like it's ready to go as it is. I think my favorite part though is, is I said it sits really nice and flush to the top of my head and I feel secure in it. So as a petite average, I would say that that is true to size. I don't have a ton of hair in my bun in the back from my bio hair and I have a smaller circumference, but because it is hand tied, there's gonna be the stretchy factor. So if you are average, you're definitely still going to fit this piece. I wouldn't worry about that. I think you can make it work possibly. If you're large, it will start to feel a little bit more snug, but you just may be able to go without a wig grip. And then um, you'll be able to manage it still without a lot of difficulty. So dress rehearsal by Raquel Welch, shaded ice cappuccino. Let me know what you think of this style. Uh, remembering that if you decide to make a purchase, this part here is going to be the area that is going to be a little bit more maintenance for you. So be aware of that when you make that purchase, you're gonna to wanna to own um, either a hot comb like this, right? And you're gonna start on very low temperature, working your way up just to brush through any crunchy areas as they develop. You're gonna to want to keep a wide tooth comb with you when you're out and about wearing this piece so that you can comb through any tangles before they get out of control. And you're going to want to just be conscious of what the piece is rubbing on when you're wearing it. So if you're in the car, for example, you're gonna drive around, you might just wanna bring all of the hair to the front so that it's not rubbing between your shoulder blades and the back of the seat. Something like that can cause more friction and more breakdown. And then you have to treat those ends a little bit sooner to keep them looking uh, did you see that catch? <laughs> Looking good and fresh. But let me know what you think of this piece. Would you wear it? What do you think? For me, this is like a total win. I absolutely love it. 
I might call this one of my favorite Raquel Welch pieces that I've ever tried. I really love Pretty Please as a short low density piece and I would say that for a longer piece this I mean I love Style Society and I love Well Played but this style is very much me like this is something that I would have this is how I would have styled my hair if I had enough hair and I was able to grow it long so definitely a win for me thank you so much to the wig company for sending it over for review and if you have any questions drop them below please I'll do my best to get to every single one. And if I don't have the answer, I'll try to find out for you. Thanks a lot and take care.